Good afternoon. Um, my name's Murray Pennell. I'm the power and hand tool buyer for Danks. Um, today I have pleasure in submitting the uh, marking and measuring planogram, which has recently been completed. Uh, we might just move into a little bit of, uh, about the industry. The hand tool market is some 660 million, so a, a, quite a large, quite a large business. It's similar size to power tools and accessories. Uh, the measuring and marking uh, represents some nearly 130 million of that 660. So again, a substantial bite of the hand tool program. Um, unfortunately, the market is mature, and there's not a lot of innovation coming out of the industry through supplies at this particular moment. Um, in terms of the the split of that 130, short tapes represents 45 million dollars. So again, very important that we get that right and I'll walk through that with you uh, at a later stage of this presentation. Uh, levels is 41, so similar to tapes, and brickies and chalk line is some $15 million. So of those three, it's, at least it's around the $100 million of the 130 of marking and measuring is made up of short tapes, levels, and bricky and chalk line. Hi, I'll just give you an update then on the suppliers that we've committed to for this marking and measuring planogram. Those are Stanley, Irwin, Apex Tools, Stabila, and the Cabs brands, brands being Techcraft and Serta. Stanley, obviously, with their tapes uh, being Fatmax and Fatmax Extreme and their spirit levels. Irwin with Chalk and Chalk Line, they have a lot of brand credibility out there uh, within the uh, tradies uh, for those particular products. Apex Tools being the major supplier or the only supplier of Lovekin, and by the way, obviously, manufacture here is still in Australia. Uh, Stabila sit out there and best uh, with their brand and their brand credibility for spirit levels and our cabs brands which we are supporting uh, both Techcraft and Serta. Hi, just some uh, an update I suppose on the supplier trends and the key issues that are happening within marking and measuring. Um, as most of everyone would be aware, the manufacturing base to movement to China over the last five to ten years has been significant and there's certainly no, uh, no change on the horizon with that as we can see. I would make comment though that Lovekin through Apex Tools still manufacture here in Australia and those brands are very well supported by the trade. Um, there has been an increase in laser technology in recent years. Uh, we have a couple of handheld units that are a part of this particular planogram but you will have more information come out in, in not too distant future regarding our direction on laser technology. Uh, all the suppliers selected have strong national teams to support your business. They all have excellent die fots and they also have merchandising initiatives to, in, to ensure that we continue to help you grow your business. We have a large, medium and a small store format. Um, I suppose basically there are four key levers that we've wanted to do in ensuring that we get this uh, over the line and deliver the results that you're looking for at store level. First one is providing an improved consumer uh, shopping experience with its uh, ease of shopping and the logic of the product layout. Improve Gin Roy for your store, um, which will certainly come from it. Um, provide an improved stock weight for the real estate taken, so again improving the Gin Roy. And really at the end of the day, brands that support go where the tradies go. I'd like to take this opportunity just to walk you through the three bays. As I met, mentioned previously, we have a three, a two and a one bay uh, planogram for all stores. Um, these bays uh, at this particular store are 1200 by 21 high. Um, there's also uh, the 1500mm planogram or the stores that have the 1500mm uh, profiles. You'll be able, we have planograms for those two that may well have that question. I'll take this opportunity just to look, walk through the products a little bit. Uh, if we get into measuring, as I mentioned earlier in my presentation, uh, tape measures are a significant part of the marketing and measuring uh, sales revenue. And through here, we'd like to think that we've actually category killed it in terms of its offer to the consumer. Um, we've still stayed with Techcraft in terms of our open reel cassettes. We have realigned those in terms of their SRPs in recent times and are extremely competitive out there in the market and I've more likely measured them against the uh, Trojan range within, uh, within Bunnings. Um, also further to that, the Stanley Fatmax uh, cassette reels. Um, they're again, at the end of the day, they're a market leader in terms of these uh, particular products and uh, we have ensured that we are competitive in the market in terms of an SRP. When we get into tape measures, it's extremely important 
Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, tape measures are a significant part of the sales revenue, and the eight metre metric uh, measuring tape represents some 45% of the entire tape measure market. So what we have done um, and continued with, we have Techcraft as our primary opening price point uh, product. We have removed, or I have deleted, the Serta uh, range of tapes. And the reason for that is that they were similar price points, but the Techcraft product really did dominate them in terms of features and benefits. With these particular products, you can see with the rubber moulding, I'll get rid of my little case here, the rubber moulding, um, the, um, the actual items are, are, three, are pinned three times. You find a lot of products when they're uh, sub $10, they're only pinned uh, twice. And they also have a magnetic tip here. So if you actually want to put that up to something and then you know, come away from it, um, it's, it's just a great feature for an opening price point tape. So over, as an overview for measuring tape, Serta has been removed from the range um, in both the 3, 5, 8 um, and the 10 metre tape. Um, we also will be changing, as you can see, we have here um, in this um, metric uh, and imperial tape, we have them as blue and the metric being uh, red. Now to give the 5 and the 3 metre tape some, some difference, we will be changing the colour of the body of these particular 5 and 3 metre tapes. So when they're planogrammed uh, out there, there's some difference and can be easily uh, sought by the customers when they're uh, selecting the product. Obviously, um, when it comes to tapes, uh, we've just got to have fat max tapes. Um, the trade want them, and also the serious DIY. Um, to be honest, we have got not a lot of profit in it, but we've just got to have it, right? Uh, extremely competitive out there in terms of an SRP these days. Um, but one of those lines, that you don't have it, you lack credibility in the market. Uh, when it gets to the Sona Steel rules, uh, we have consolidated the range down uh, from um, from Praga and Lufkin just to the Lufkin range. They have the one metre, there's a one metre, a 600, a 300, uh, which you can see there. And if someone wants a cheap suit of 300 mil tape, there's heaps of money in terms of profitability in that. That's some 450, which is competitive in the market. Um, but um, that pretty well delivers a uh, strong offer to any of the engineering shops serious DIYers that are looking for stainless steel rules. Bay number two. Bay number two is predominantly our combination squares. As you can see here, chalk, chalk lines and chalk, uh, and marking, and crayons down below. Um, if I just give a little bit of a rundown of combination squares in this particular area of, the, uh, of, this, of this planogram, the Supercraft is our opening price point uh, combination square. There is um, this this item here which has a magnetic uh, side and lock uh, and also the uh, normal 300mm Supercraft uh, Com Square which is our opening price point at around $16. There are other brands that are supported in this area, Stanley, uh, Barco and Lovkin uh, and Empire. Predominantly I suppose really at the end of the day it's the tradies that will be looking for these and perhaps uh, the Stanley product here. Uh, and we'd like to think that we have this well covered with um, your standard combination and also the uh, polysteel tri-squares. Right? Um, chalk lines, uh, predominantly Fatmax or Stanley Fatmax is our preferred supplier through here uh, with, a, with an offer of uh, Irwin um, at some $14.95. There is a cheapie in here at sub, at sub $10, but uh, does really category kill uh, the chalk and chalk lines. The chalk is only supplied um, by Irwin, which come in four, uh, six and eight ounce containers. Uh, we have red, blue, uh, yellow and white. Um, we have introduced uh, black, which is was surprised me we didn't have it, but we didn't, uh, but we do now. And we have introduced a black six ounce uh, chalk line from Irwin, uh, so, uh, or chalk from Irwin, so that uh, that covers those bases. When it comes to the markers, uh, the only change of product, as I did previously mention in my presentation, we have replaced uh, art line markers with Sharpie. Um, so there's a chisel tip, a bullet point, there's a white uh, paint marker, um, and there's also a twin pack. So we're pretty well category killed through there. Um, as a point of interest, uh, we have consolidated from 
uh, three brands of carpenter pencils from both the hard and the medium down to one brand. The brand that we've stayed with is Lovekin. Um, and look, to be frank, I really don't believe that we'll have too many issues with that consolidation and uh, we should be able to get better uh, outcomes. When it comes to planogramming here, what we have done uh, is use these storage boxes um, to give them some uh, prominence on the, on the baskets or on the shelves, if we like to call them those. Um, that particular, uh, it's called a store pack, which is available in housewares. And I'll uh, just on my uh, notepad here, it's code number 208. 6213. So for those stores that don't have these you'll need to get half a dozen or so because they will store the carpenter pencils, the Sharpie range of products which are three and the crayons um, for timber which are available in blue, yellow, white, red and black and the engineers, engineers markers which are down there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for these large ones and four smaller ones that you'll need to provide for your planogram. Spirit levels, when we get into Bay 3, uh, we pretty well have this category killed. Um, as you can see, it's a concise planogram and it's extremely tight in its intensity, but delivers, to me it delivers an overall, overall uh, impression that if someone came in here looking for, for a spirit level, there's no reason that they should walk out. Uh, we have torpedo levels at open price point through Serta and Techcraft, up to um, up to your Stabila, Stabila brands, which are, again are the uh, 70 series and I think from memory the 80 series that we've got in torpedoes, and some of these cheaper polycast ones that are through here. Line levels, which are used for your brickies lines, etc., uh, which are the opening price point being Techcraft at some 560. We've repositioned that and um, it's extremely competitive out there in the market to, again, uh, we've aligned it to the, to the Trojan range. The bullseye, uh, which is the only bullseye level that we've got from Empire, it's sub $10. So if someone comes in looking for a torpedo level or a line level, we've pretty well got that covered. Uh, when it gets into your spirit levels, what well, we have uh, maintained on range and it's the only Serta uh, spirit level on range at this moment, it's a three vial box level of 600 mil, it's a cheapy at $10. Uh, and then we move into the Techcraft at $16.95. There's a range of, of uh, levels through here from, as I mentioned, Serta through to Stabila um, and everything in between, being Stanley, Stanley Fat Max Extreme, uh, the polycast levels from Empire, um, the traditional uh, box levels uh, in bag from Techcraft. Um, and you know, there are these at $32.95 are, are really great, great value. A lot of them I've seen similar levels uh, for uh, house brands out there at over $40. So again, we're competitive with those. So bottom line is from a spirit level point of view, if anyone comes in here looking for a spirit level, there is no way knowing that they should walk out. We do have it covered. So as an overview and then a conclusion to this uh, planogram presentation of marking and measuring, um, as I mentioned earlier in the presentation, the hand tool uh, industry is some 660 million. 130 of that is marking and measuring, so important we get it right. Um, we have a three, a two and a one bay planogram that's available to all stores and the brands that we've supported are the Stanleys, the Sibillas, the Irwins, the Lufkins, the Empires the important brands that are basically mean something to the tradies out there. Um, the planogram will be available uh, in the near future and will be distributed in the normal way uh, and available to all stores. And in conclusion, happy selling.